Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Brandon710, BB here on The Drunken Assassin. Whatever you guys want to bloody call me, and happy free comic book day, and happy May the 4th be with you, Star Wars Day. That's right, it's both free comic book day and Star Wars Day. So, you know, for all of the nerds out there watching, it's our day to shine. So, yeah. But in this video, I'm going to be doing a comic book haul that's right, we got another comic book haul video. And yo, look at the stack of comics we got. We got a nice we got a nice stack actually. But yeah, it's going to be a comic book haul for May 4th, 2024. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what comics you guys picked up on free comic book day, and subscribe to the channel cuz we got more comic book videos coming on the channel. We got more tone, guitar tone videos coming on the channel. You guys have been killing it with the support on that Electric Wizard guitar tone video. And oh yeah, I am ready to do the Black Sabbath guitar tone for the next one. But yeah, we got stuff lined up for the channel. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, first comic that I'll show off. Boom bada bing. We got Daredevil issue 255. Um, so the comic book store I went to today is Myth Legends Quest. I believe that is what it's called. Um, it's on Bank Street down in Ottawa, and it is a fantastic comic book shop. The dudes that run it are awesome, very nice, very polite, friendly, all of that. And they got great comic book selections, and the pricing is nice there. But for today, for free comic book day, they had 22% off on back issues so i was kind of i was kind of like yeah this is my time um but yeah i picked up some daredevil always like picking up daredevil he's low-key one of my favorite marvel superheroes right there um this one features typhoid mary um right now i'm trying to get most of those um daredevil typhoid mary issues this one great cover with um her on it condition Looks to be like a very fine, you know, some, you know, little ticks on the spine. But other than that, looks pretty nice back. Open this baby up. Nice white pages. Very, very good. I mean, you know, John Romita Jr. artwork is always going to be busting. But, you know, especially Daredevil type. Ah, very, very nice. But yeah, that's the first comic picked up right there. Second one we picked up, Daredevil issue 260 right here. Another issue with Typhoid Mary. Um, you know, the final triumph of Typhoid Mary, as the comic says. But, you know, she appears in more issues. But, you know, very, very classic battle between the two right here. And just another great cover with typhoid on it back you know condition of this one again looks to be like a very fine you know could be a very fine plus you never know open it up nice white pages again though so very nice and again ramita jr artwork is always going to be busting it's always going to be busting it could be spidey it can be punisher it can be daredevil it doesn't matter who the fuck ramita jr is drawing it's always going to be great yeah you know, like yo this comics though is very interesting because um in the bullpen bulletins it's got an ad for fucking Wolverine issue one of volume two, man. This is how old this comic is from 1988 where they're promoting Wolverine issue one being like, yo, you don't want to miss out on this. And it's like, yo, come on. But yeah, I mean, at the end, you got typhoid right there. It's just like, ah, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Happy to add that to my Daredevil collection. Next off, we got Iron Man issue 288. Just an iconic War Machine cover right here. Like, that is pretty much the only reason I picked it up. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's an anniversary special issue as well. But it's like, bro, this War Machine cover, fantastic. One day I hope I can get that first appearance of War Machine though. But, you know. Very, very nice right here. 
I mean, Iron Man doesn't have that many keys, you know, if I'm being honest. Or I could just be a little bit of a goofball and I'm a bit too stoned. But I don't remember Iron Man Volume 1 having that many key issues. Um, condition. Again, looks to be like a very fine, very fine plus. Open it up. Nice white pages. I mean, again, anything with War Machine, it's always going to be dope. No matter if it's Tony or if it's Jim in the suit, it's always going to be awesome. But yeah. Next off, we got Incredible Hulk issue 400. Part of the Ghost of the Past story right here. Part 4 out of 4. You know... It's the 400th issue of Incredible Hulk. You know, it's a it's an it's a issue special right here. Had to pick it up for my Incredible Hulk collection. Pretty pretty dope. I'm back. Again, condition looks to be a very fine plus. Could be a near mint minus. Uh, open up the comic. Nice white pages. Very, very dope. But yeah. Next comic, though. Ooh, I'm happy to show this next one. Venom Volume. I guess you could say Volume 1. Like, if you're, if you're not going to include the miniseries and all of those shits, you know, like Lethal Protector, um, you know, um... Venom, freaking the madness, all that stuff, separation anxiety. Like, if you're not going to include those miniseries, yeah, this is volume one of Venom right here. And issue two got an amazing Sam Kit cover right here of Venom. Yo, okay, no. Anytime Sam Kit does fucking Venom, it is. Uh, yo, like. The Marvel Comics Presents of um, Venom vs. Wolverine that Sam Kitt does the artwork on. Bussin' and the artwork that he does for um, this volume, for some of the covers. Goddamn amazing. Just amazing. Happy to have this in the collection. Adds on to my other awesome Venom covers. Condition. Looks to be a very fine plus. Could be a near mint minus. Open it up. Nice white pages. Getting a bit, you know recent with the comics this is from 2003 just about 20 years ago um even though i'm saying you know we're going a bit recent 20 years ago is not that recent but yo to me any comic past 1999 is a pretty recent one in my eyes and i mean yo the artwork for this one is is it's weird but it's interesting it's got kind of like a new grounds kind of like you know invader sim type you know vibe to it but I fuck with it. It's very, very dope. And then I mean that ending splash or just that ending page right there with Venom. Just awesome. Awesome. But yeah. Next off though. So on top of going to the comic book store, grabbing some of these comics, I also picked up a Amazing Spider-Man lot on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I picked up some ASM comics on marketplace their um their asm issues around um the 400 you know after 400 issue 400 so i'm very lucky to get these because these ones are pretty they're not that easy to find at comic book stores you know most comic book stores i mean the ones i've been to in ottawa you rarely see asm issues after 400 but yeah first one we got right here asm 403 an amazing Mark Bagley cover with Carnage right here. Trial of Peter Parker right here. But yeah, amazing Mark Bagley cover. Just you can't go wrong with this. Also, just a nice cover with Carnage. Let's get this. There we go. I'm back. Open it up. Nice white pages. You know, this is like around the time of the Clone Saga right here. So, 
you know, most people were getting off the Spider-Man series around this point because they were like, yo, this Clone Saga bullshit, I can't stand it. But, you know, you stick around. It, it's interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. ASM 403. Next off, we got ASM 404. Part of the Clone Saga as well. Maximum clonage right here. Awesome cover of Peter versus Ben. Can't go wrong. Now, one thing with this comic, though. So, looks good at the front. It's missing the back. It's missing the back. It's alright, though. Sometimes when you get these marketplace buys... You know, sometimes this shit happens, but it's all good. You know, I'll find another copy of this comic out in the open, in the wild. And, you know, a little bit of a little right there, but it's all good. I'm so happy to have it in the collection because, again, any ASM comic past 400. Like, yeah, this is like a this is like a fine, you know right here but i don't care another amazing mark bagley cover i mean nice white pages though there's that but if i ever see another copy of this issue out in the open oh yeah i'm fucking picking it up 10 times out of 10 but yeah next off we got asm 406 first appearance of the female dr octopus aka the second dr octopus um she had a little cameo appearance in 405 which i do own in the collection right here but uh, yeah and again another great i believe another great mark bagley cover right here i'm pretty sure it's a mark bagley cover but yeah amazing cover back Condition on this one, way better. This is like a very fine to a very fine plus, I would say. Looking at it, though, nice white pages. Again, part of the Clone Saga right here. But yeah, very, very dope artwork. Can't go wrong. Next off, we got ASM issue 420, Blaze It. Again, this one's a marketplace. Condition on this one is pretty rough, it's stapled. You know, it's a bit misaligned. Um, you know, person who stapled it kind of fucked it up a bit, but it's all good. Again, it's like with issue 404. If I see another copy of this out in the open, I'm picking it up, but you know. At least I got an issue. Or at least I got the issue in my collection. This one's um, guest stars X-Man. Right here. Um, but yeah. Getting into the later run of ASM. Right here. February 97. Open it up. At least white pages though. That's, you know, I'll take that. Artwork's looking pretty dope. Can't go wrong. Next up, though, this one, I think this is my favorite one in this whole lot that I'm going to show you guys. Again, from that marketplace. So all of these ASM issues that you've seen are from the exact same marketplace, like, lot of ASM. Got all of these at once, but yeah. Um, last one I'm going to show, ASM 441 last issue of volume one right here technically so you get to this issue issue 441 volume one ends here and then um you know after that you get volume two of asm right here issue one and then volume two starts and then once it hits like issue like 50 or some shit like that like once issue 500 hits then you're back to like it being called ASM Volume 1. Like, Volume 2 still had the legacy number, so, you know. But after 500, it was like, boom. It's just back to being ASM Volume 1. And, like, I do have 
ASM 700 as well. So like I have both of like the last ASM issues right here because this is end of volume one back in like 98. And then this is when, um, you know, ASM ends, Sus Superior Spider-Man comes in and that goes on for like a good year or two and then gets rebooted with the um, 2014 ASM run. But yeah. God, I'm finally, I finally got this one though. The final issue of volume one. Very, very fucking happy to have. And I mean, condition of this one, it, it's all right. It is all right. I mean, nice white pages though. And that's all you can fucking ask. That's all you can ask for. But yeah. Very, very happy to have this. Um, when you're going for an ASM collection, sometimes when you're trying to find the um, later ASM issues past the 400, especially like 441, it gets pretty hard to find them, you know, out in the open. You got to go online. You got to go on eBay, Kijiji, comic book stores online, you know, to find it. You don't really find this stuff at, you know, flea markets and thrift stores, you know. Yeah. So we're getting back to comics I got at the comic book store on free comic book day. Next off, we got ASM volume two, issue eight right here. Pretty nice cover. Not gonna lie. Like, not gonna lie. My goal is to get an ASM run from at least like 238 first appearance of Hobgoblin. All the way to, like, issue 700. That would be the goal. I ain't trying to get a full ASM run. And I know, like, there's no way in hell I'm going to get a 121, a 122, a 129, you know? Stuff in the 100s. It's going to be fucking expensive to get. But, like, the 238 and plus, the only real setbacks are, like, 298, 299, and fucking 300. But other than that, that you know... It's all good. But yeah, my goal is to try and get a run from 238 to at least 700. If not that, 400 to volume 2, issue 50. But, you know. This is just me rambling a little bit, talking about comics nerding out. But yeah. Here's the comic front back. I mean, condition of this, it's very fine. Two very fine plus. Open it up. Nice white pages. Great artwork right here. Great, great artwork. You got an ad for Black Panther right there. I think that's like volume three, maybe volume four right there. It's the Marvel Knights one, but you know, it's the it's more critical acclaimed one. Next off, we got ASM Volume 2, Issue 42, or Legacy Number 483. Don't need a junior cover right here. Back. Open it up. Nice white pages. You cannot go wrong with Ramita Jr. artwork. <laughs> like... Like I mentioned back in the fucking beginning of the video with the Daredevil, whether he's doing Spider-Man, Punisher, Daredevil, it doesn't fucking matter. Ramita Jr. artwork always goddamn slaps. Always. And last comic for this haul is ASM Volume 2, Issue 44, or Legacy Number 485. Again, another amazing Ramita Jr. cover right here. You can't go wrong with that, man. Front. Back. Open it up. Nice white pages. And again, great artwork. Yeah, that's the comic book haul for Free Comic Book Day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below what comics you guys picked up on this awesome day and subscribe to the channel we got more comic book videos coming up on the channel guitar tones let's plays 
whatever it may be maybe bong videos sesh videos you never know but yeah it's been your boy brandon 710 bb healed drunk assassin whatever you guys want to call me peace